Mithila Dhruv, so nice to see you. You know, it's almost as though we're living in a dystopian film <laughs> for two years. I've seen you so many times on Zoom and other kinds of software. This is just wonderful to give you a real hug. How, how's the day been in terms of that before we come to little things? <laughs> you know, sometimes reality, you know, you have to ease yourself into it. Mithila. It's been, uh, we, I think I had forgotten how hectic <laughs> this can get. <laughs> but I love it. I'd rather do it in person than on Zoom because I really, really missed hugging people. <laughs> so, yeah. It's been fun, but hectic, but fun. Mr. Segal. <laughs> oh, same, absolutely same. Zoom, you also tend to zone out. <laughs> you know, here you can't. That's an honest confession. Yeah, here you, you shouldn't zone out. <laughs> shouldn't zone out. <laughs> Correct. You know, I was wondering, Dhruv, because you started writing this series, you wrote it, right? Mm. And now, at least this season, I know you haven't written. Mm. It's written by somebody else. The ownership of the product in terms of the writing. Mm. One of the episodes, I think, in the past was called FOMO. Do you ever have, <laughs> do you ever have FOMO as far as that is concerned? Look over you know, the writer's shoulder and say, oh my god, you know, I'm not writing, writing this anymore. Does that happen? It did happen some days. Um, even when we were acting, it happened that hmm, maybe I can do this, maybe I can do that. But no, whatever is there, you know, you're happy with it. And then you have to bring yourself uh, to the point that you'll find conviction in that. Um, also, the same team that wrote the fourth season were working with me on the third season. So it wasn't too much of a shock or a leap uh, in terms of the tonality, you know. It was just a little more progressed. So it was, it was quite natural. Yeah. Now, we don't want to give away any spoilers, Mithila, but suffice it to say that there's been a separation and then they're getting back in this series in terms of the fact that he's been away, isn't it? And, you know, uh, and to me, the biggest thing about little things is nothing major ever is supposed to happen. It's only the little things that happen. Will, does season four continue in that vein? Or will we see major development? I will not ask you what major developments, but will we see major developments happen? I... There will be major developments, but still in that vein is what I would say. Because like you rightly said, it's not about making those big things sound like big things. They are everyday things. There are conversations that will that will maneuver us in like as Dhruv and Kavya us in in a certain direction that after like six years of being together, okay, now where do we take this relationship? Separation as in physical separation has been there. And I think um there's kind of a mention of that in the trailer as well, that first he was in Bangalore where, where it happened for the first time and now it's happening for the second time and even though it's for a longer duration, we're like, okay, this has happened to us in our lives before and how do we do it, deal with it this time? So, same vein, big developments, but same vein. Like, there's nothing, it will not, it will not look like, oh my God, this is a drastic change in their lives. I hope the glutton in you is still alive. <laughs> Very much, always. All, both of us. You, you are a man after my own heart. When I see <laughs> Dhruv in the series, you know, doing everything for food, yeah. it, despite his partner doing stuff for romance, it has to be about the food, yes. you know. And, and big shout out to, uh, to the Netflix team in terms of the marketing and recreating Absolutely. where we are in the set. Beautiful. And if that cow gully had not been there, I would have been very disappointed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me what you felt when you first saw the, saw the cow gully and all the, the eating places. Sure, it was just <laughs> like uh, a time travel because I had so many stories for each and every stall that they've put. It was really, really a uh, walk down the memory lane, you know. And it was very personalized. So it didn't seem like, uh, oh, this is just a generic food stall. No, you this Mutton cutlets. Man. Yeah, mutton cutlets, man. <laughs> Finally, you know where to get them. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> were there budgies also? I don't know. Yeah, yeah there, there, were there were budgies yeah, also. There's a stall down. That's yeah, it. Yeah. It's done. <laughs> the budgies and the mutton cutlets. Yeah. <laughs> what also is, has really been exciting for me is the evolution of Kavya and Dhruv. Mm -hmm. You know, he's very 2016 Delhi. <laughs> but how much has he evolved over the four seasons? Because now he's lived, he's lived in Bangalore, he's lived in what, Finland or what is it now? Scandinavia and things like that. So from Kavya's perspective, uh, uh, what is the change in Dhruv over the sands of time? It's interesting you ask this because she does mention it in the first episode of the fourth season actually. And the observations are like quite evident that he's, he's, He's so much more straighter and confident and uh, and more sure of himself. So, yeah. 
More sure of yourself. That's wonderful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I mean, fourth season, you better be, <laughs> sure, of, you better be sure of yourself. <laughs> and Kavya is always, everybody is sweetheart. As much as yeah. Mithila is in real life. <laughs> you know? And uh, the idea has always been, oh, I wish I had a girlfriend like that. You know? Does, does it continue in that vein or do we see too much maturity? No, no. See, you know, things happen in the show, like it, they happen in each and every season, but the tonality is the same, you know. So you still feel as if this person has changed, but not changed enough for me to kind of not say a certain things. You can still be yourself. Uh, so it's, it's the same person who's going through more ups and downs. I can't believe that this is going to be the last season. I mean, I, as somebody who's invested in the show as a watcher, I'm feeling a huge you know, burden. I don't know what you guys are going through. I mean, or is it going to be like, oh yeah, they say James Bond is going to get over, but there's always another 007. <laughs> hey, you never know, man. You're not committing to anything. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but it, it's been it's been said openly, saying yeah. that this is going to be the last yeah. one. It is, yeah? yeah? From whatever you know? Yeah, from whatever we know, yes. Have you got time to reflect back? Or has it just been a whirlwind? It's been a whirlwind because we've been, I mean, we shot the show, then we were dubbing for it, and now we're promoting it. And I think the more people are asking us this question, I think it's slowly getting to us. Yesterday, I had a moment at the cast and crew screening because, you know, everybody, the makers who've been there since the beginning of this show were there. And there was a little bit of that emotional feeling that, okay, like, you know, this the work with this entire team ends here. And this journey with this entire team ends here. But, but it's... I don't think it's sunken in for either of us yet. Like, yeah, the day is getting closer when the release, like when the show will release. But I think when we don't have another season to shoot, the next year is when it'll actually be like, oh, okay, this year I'm not shooting for little things. <laughs> You've definitely become a better actor. Thank you. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> you were a reluctant actor in the beginning, and you've Thank really you. come into your skin. You know, <laughs> I don't know if she can get any better. <laughs> but you want to talk about the improvements you've seen in her? Oh, she's been a a great since. A great from the beginning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I told him to say it. <laughs> <laughs> but you've noticed that, right? You've noticed this. A hundred percent. I think. Yes. I think with him also, what what. Uh, with with as as we started shooting more seasons, he um, he was like, "Nini, ab main lines padke aunga meri." And I think uh, fourth by four by the fourth season, since he had not written it, this time he was totally clueless about the lines because pehle to at least he knew that this is you know I, I know what is going to happen in the scene and I know what they are going to say. Both are characters, but this time it was a full actor mode on for him. So yeah, definitely. Earlier, I used to get up like one hour before everyone else. This season, I got up one and a half hours before everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> what, what is closest to your heart from season one to three? Don't talk about season four, but a season that you think, you know, you look back and very secretly you pat yourself on the back and say, Dhruv, you did a great job. Yaar. Kya yeah, I genuinely like the second season. And you thought uh, you, were the, you were the best in that, yeah? No, no, no. Just because, you know... Uh, when we were asked to kind of make the second season after the first one, we had the option to kind of again make it very cutesy and all, but we took a leap of faith, make it a little more serious, make it a little more real. And uh, we did that. The whole team, kudos to all of us, I guess. And it connected, you know. So we took a chance and it worked. It paid off. So for me, that was nice because we could have done the same thing again, you know, but we chose not to. So that I kind of feel. What about you? You, you agree with that? You think two is what did it for you? Or will one be one because it's the very first one? Uh, one will be one because it's special, but the season that's closest to me is the third season. Because I, I, I for many reasons. Uh, one is that, like, I think I found my Kavya, in a sense. Like, I related to her the most in the third season as we progressed from the first and the second and the third. And then a lot of... Uh, things that were happening in Kavya's life were happening in my life and things like, you know, your parents are growing older and you want to be there for them a lot more, but you can't be because of whatever your limitations are, that you're not there physically with them or you're working, you're busy and all those things. So I think that season holds a very special memory for me because my dad was really unwell earlier that year when we shot this show and then he got, but just, of course, he's he's, he's much better now, but just that that feeling of not being there at that moment, and then I got there eventually. But that struggle that she went through is the struggle that I went through, and I kind of, 
I felt like, oh, this is like literally a parallel life that I'm living. So it, for many reasons, it is very, very close to me. And, and the fans, you know, there's so many people who see uh, themselves in Dhruv, you know, from the food, from the Liverpool, you know, uh, from, and so many people who see uh, themselves in, in Kavya, you know, like, you know, just want to sleep in, relax, uh, and things like that. And that, that love must be overwhelming, yeah? Yeah. Talk to me about that, how, Mithila, and how. I mean, um, I think when the trailer released, uh, one of the YouTube comments were that um, this guy said that when you started the show, I had just started dating somebody, and then over a period of time, and as the seasons progressed, I um, married her, and now that you're releasing the fourth season, we are filing for a divorce. And it's just, it's insane the kind of journey that people have taken with Dhruv and Kavya through their own lives. And it's just, it's absolutely overwhelming to just think of it that way. Like, I, I think, I still can't fathom it. Yeah. So, you know, some reactions like this are going to happen. And then suddenly you're going to announce a season five. <laughs> just saying. I love that you're manifesting this since the beginning of this interview. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying. But, but really, I mean, why the decision? I mean, does does Dice Media, uh, does you know, do the think tank feel that this is as far as as Kavya and Dhruv's characters can go? Yeah. Or is it a, there's a feeling of you know, chal kuch naya karte. I mean, what is what is it? I mean. One doesn't, one can't put a finger on it. I mean, see, I was of the opinion that if there's ever another season, it shouldn't happen immediately. It should sure. be after four, five years, you know. Give them a break, give the audience also then waits, you know. But I don't think that's possible also, logistically speaking, in our world, because who knows what happens after four, five years. And uh, I mean, I don't know what the actual th thought process was, but I know for myself, at least, that there were moments when you felt a little, you know, just like 1% jaded. And then you were like, it's better to leave the show on a high as opposed to leave it at a point where everybody's just sick and tired of it, including the audience. Because you want to respect the love that you've got and you don't want to tire them out or add this unnecessary fatigue. Are you look pretty sad? That's a very interesting point. Now, I, I don't mean take a time leap like like an Ekta Kapoor show, no disrespect to that. Suddenly, you know, Dhruv and Kavya are whatever, 10 years from now. But the option of having a time leap in real life. You know, saying, let's see what happens four or five years. Has, has, did you think of that? Have you voiced that? I haven't voiced it, but I did think of it. Like, I, I, I do think what will happen when we actually do grow old and, you know, 10 years down the line, older than what we are, and 10 years down the line, maybe what will happen to Dhruv and Kavya? And that, that's a thought, and maybe it's something you can play with, buddy. Me? <laughs> <laughs> but have, you, have you guys become friends? Or, I mean, you have to be. I mean... Considering you become better so friends, for sure. We become better friends, yes. We become better friends. So, are you able to exchange WhatsApps, even if it's not work, and say, what's up, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, that's happening. Yeah. 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 That has happened, or did you start off on the wrong foot? <laughs> no, no, that has happened over the years. Even that has had a very nice, slow little progression. Yeah. 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 Because, you know, in, in real life also, you, you're so different, isn't it? I mean, you, you're literally the, the Delhi boy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the Marathi girl from Nagpur. She's Nagpur. the Marathi movie. <laughs> Maybe not Nagpur, or is it Nagpur? Dadar. 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 Yeah. <laughs> so, in that aspect, you know, one always wonders about, yeah, opposites attract, but it's not so much. Yeah, I mean, it is expected of us to be friends, yeah. and we spend too much time together to not be, you know, like, and there is no, there is no, there's no reason for us to not be also, but, I wouldn't say we're best friends, but the friendship that we share is the sweetest friendship, I would think, because I think there is a mutual love and respect and admiration for each other and for each other's craft and work and everything. And uh, and we both know that we can pick up a fo our phones and just drop in a, hi, are you fine? And how are your parents doing? And there is still that. Yeah, also there's no formality. Like I remember when you were shooting early in the morning, so we'll wake up you know, early and then we'll head for the set around 6 o'clock. So we'll obviously travel together. We wouldn't say anything to each other. We wouldn't say anything to each other till lunch. Yeah. 
and then after lunch and like so what's up like you know <laughs> and that felt really yeah. good because there's no pressure ke are wo aayi hai to chalo ab baat kare ke hey did you sleep well you've never <laughs> asked such questions we literally you know? plugged our earphones yeah. in and through the journey till the set we were just we were quiet so yeah we don't feel compelled that's comfort to, that's yeah. comfort yeah. yeah absolutely you don't have to make pc and things like that no, that's, no. It's, that's that's quite wonderful in that aspect so uh, i don't know if you if a lot of your parents are revealed in this season but you know lovnin is lovely is there any yeah, other way to describe too, it she's too good and there's yeah. there's navni you know yeah. i'd like you to talk a little bit about them yeah i mean both of them are really 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 sweet and you know so they didn't know about the show that much till the time they worked on it till they were cast wow. yeah 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 so at least so navni ma'am you know uh, the show had released and then uh, we met randomly on another i think it was a meeting or something and she said aap logon ne bataya nahi ki ye aisa show hai mujhe usa messages aa rahe hain <laughs> and it's very such, sweet. yeah and very it was really really very sweet and the other thing is you know the the kind of atmosphere that we have on set also because it's a team that has been working it's very open you know so lovelyn being the mind that she is she'll always have her inputs you know she'll make fun of her character she'll make fun of your character so it's very it's like friends getting together and doing a mm-hmm. project and lovelyn is so driven about the environment yeah i mean uh, what she's doing with ra and things like absolutely, that absolutely which i think is fantastic i think and all actors should have a mm-hmm. social consciousness you yeah, know yeah. so i mean there are times when we've talked about roles and suddenly we've gone to talk about other stuff which is just yeah. so amazing um the the director of the series you've had the same director over the last two seasons isn't three it three seasons one of them has remained since the second season okay and that would be ruchir arun just a bit about him please yeah uh, very 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 passionate very very enthusiastic and very uh, like he's the kind of guy who can make you work for 15 hours as opposed to 12 but you won't go home grumpy sweet because you're like a, everyone gave the blood and sweat to the you know on set today and uh, so just someone who can really really push the team and uh, and he has this really beautiful knack of turning a simple conversation which is on which is you know written ke couch mein likha hai but he'll imagine it and he'll make it really really beautiful he got the sense that you know every day can be beautiful you know and he showed it visually as opposed to being bogged down and getting bored by it you know ki yaar main kya karunga tum baithi to hai kuch kar nahi sakta main but he'll have its he'll have fun with the cameraman and yeah he he brings a lot of i would say dynamism to yeah a conversation that could just be had like this and if you remember the third season there's a, the last episode where the two of them are having a long conversation on the tennis court of was, course was yeah. meant to be had on a couch interesting and which ended up being <laughs> yeah but you know even the doodling it's become part of popular culture now the doodles in yeah. little things <laughs> and you know how it's used so beautifully in the in the credits and things like that and i actually saw that doubt stage yeah. which i thought was yeah. was fascinating so your your doodle artist would be and also if either of you could fill me in on the music you know it's just whether it's the background score it's yeah. not intrusive it's just not there enough. and of course the title song is just beautiful man. yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so either of you can take that music is well neel adhikari who yeah, yeah. with us since the first beautiful. season and he's yeah. He's Again, you know, it's like the show. It's not there. It's not doesn't have the big drop and this and that. But yeah, it's just so it is just yeah. It just it just feels so naturally naturally a part of the show. And he's he's also been so like like Ruchir has that energy of like wanting to make the best thing out of this. He's also that person. And Neil will keep writing to. Uh, I mean, I'm sure he writes to you also, and I know that he writes to me that like. Uh, yeah ye yes, scene this is so nice and this come out really nicely and i'm so excited to you know score for it and yeah. so he's just i think we've just been fortunate f- um, with finding the kind of people who have loved and nurtured the show as much as we have and thus made it what it is beautiful so. i've always maintained that neil is the third actor <laughs> in the nice. frame yes. that no one can see but everyone can feel kya baat he's like the spirit of the show also when neil yeah. came to bombay from calcutta this was his first gig along with it being my first gig along with it being uh, her web series i think first, first. no second huh? well, and yeah, it was the, the cameraman's first gig it was the director's fir- first wow. gig so it was just a bunch of friends 
who were like, Chalo ya, saath mein kuch karte. So we had that excitement and because of which we ended up caring a lot for the show and that has seeped in through all the four seasons. Yeah, and then it's not as though as the show got bigger, you decided to make it more opulent. No, no, no. The beauty is that, you know, you've just kept yeah, it yeah, yeah. about the little things. Fantastic. Listen, guys, lovely talking to you. Thank like you. I said, oh, I hope something happens <laughs> <laughs> to trigger a five. <laughs> but you're lovely. Thank you for the joy. Thank, Thank you very so much. much. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Though. Thank you.